Alright guys, what's going on? It's your boy Georgia Picker and guess who I'm here with? It's your wifey. It's the wifey as she says it. Uh, so check it out. So we actually just want a storage unit. It is actually September 22nd. It's 1.15 in the afternoon and or no wait that's not right. It's 2.15 in the afternoon <laughs> and uh, we have to go to Bluffton, South Carolina which is about a 40-ish minute drive and we only want the unit for $410 and I think there might be guns in there you guys. I don't know it's gonna be interesting. I know the wife is excited because we haven't won a unit in uh, a, a little over a month I think now. So um, yeah so hopefully we find some killer stuff and uh, yeah just wish us luck. Let's go ahead and get there. All right, guys, check it out. So we're at the, uh, the facility, right? Unit two zero three, and uh, like I said, we won the unit for four hundred and ten dollars. So I guess after buyer's premium and everything, we're probably right around the four hundred fifty dollar mark. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do the the reveal. Oh my! Set. Oh yeah, that thing is packed. Hey, look, we, we were right though. Look, we were right though. Stephen King. All of them Stephen King. Yeah. So yeah. We're definitely right. I don't think it has any weight in it. But I mean, they yeah, got some tools. Mm -hmm. A lot of tools. Couldn't really see some of the things that were back in here because the pictures weren't really a little mobile the greatest. Printer. Yeah, a little mobile printer, yeah. Like you said, you guys can see tons of boxes. Tons of boxes. Um shadow box. Shadow box. Original mastermind. The Star Wars? No. I don't know. Invicta. I don't know what that is, but yeah. There's gonna be some trash in here for sure, just like any other unit. But look at this, though. So. I mean, there's a Ryobi something here. Look at this. An oh, look at that. flag all tossed up. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, that, this stuff right here, we, we love selling this stuff. Love selling this stuff. So, yeah, I guess we gotta, I was really hoping this gun was real, but no, it's just a little BB gun. You couldn't really tell by the pictures, but oh, look at this. It's fake. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> don't stab me. Um, but yeah, definitely think we're gonna find some tools here. But look at all the boxes though. That says movies, I don't know, just tons of totes though, and telescopic ladder. I think these things are only going for like 50 bucks or so. I'm not too sure exactly. Central machine, some kind of saw, band saw, and then a little zutter. I have no idea what that is. So yeah, there's gonna be some interesting stuff in the old wait, there's like an old camera right here. Okay, so we're gonna get to work. Um, we just gotta figure out what exactly we're going to pull first, because <laughs> uh, it's a lot of stuff. Is that a wheelchair? Wheelchair? Or is that a bike? Uh, or is it just a wheel? No, there's two wheels. I think it might be a bike, it's just on that side. Mm. And you got your cool little chair you were talking about, so. Alright, well that being said, let's get to work, but this is what $410 will get you, but... Oh wait, what is this? Uh oh, look at this! Duh. Brand new Mizuno baseball gloves or golf gloves? Uh, golf gloves. I think it's a baseball. Yeah, look at that, two brand new, just... It is a wheelchair. It is a wheelchair? Yeah, those wheels go to this wheelchair. That's what this is. Oh, well there you go, that's the wheelchair. Oh, okay, well, let's open up. Open up the green thing real quick. Okay. The ammo box. I don't, I don't, like I said, there's no weight in it. But it was funny how this right here was sitting next to the BB gun. Oh, there's a key. All right, we need to keep that key. No, 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 keep, uh, keep it inside that box just so we don't lose it. No, me, no, me, I'll lose it. Look at this. Every unit we get, what do we find? Trash bags. Trash bags. And look at that. Oh, and there's no trash bags in it. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, All right let's but get again. this out of the way. All right, we're going to move some of this stuff out of the way and then hopefully get to some boxes. All right, you guys, so we pulled the first box from here the wife is fixing to open it up um i'm really hoping that uh it's gonna be some stuff here but nothing in, in this stuff as you guys already saw and then we got the telescopic ladder that's gonna go with us today and we got a craig craig's actually a good brand it's like some kind of clamp uh and the wifey has the first box right here let me get on this side of you that way the sun's shining right into you it says heavy books on it so and she said they're heavy so <laughs> i'm hoping that oh all right, so not book. Well, I guess it could be still. Imagine this was all filled with video games. Uh oh, open that up. Open that up. Come on, give me some coins. Right out the get go. Is it open? Oh, okay. And all uh, jewelry stuff. But I mean, okay. So I got a whole case of beads right there. Very colorful. 
not what really this is what we're looking for a lot of books george r See. r martin uh oh what's that a dvd set oh there's a book right there george r r martin as well oh, that's a book the set song of ice and fire it's game of are you Thrones. keeping that no i've already got this okay book set. <laughs> so she already has that book set what is that thing uh wireless network camera okay yeah. hey, what is this was this thing? I know some guitar stuff can be worth money. Simply guitar. Okay, so nothing, so nothing too crazy. We won't. We're not gonna take everything out of this, but. A dance with dragons. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna move on to the next box, I think, just because I don't want to necessarily mess with all this. I'm just trying to see what that is. What's that paperwork right there? Right here. Okay. Well, see, my thing is, it says guitar for dummies. Oh, oh, look at this. Nintendo DS Lite, so we'll put that off to the side. And if we find video game stuff, it's gonna be kind of crazy. Mozart. Then my, oh look, Charlie, what? Nintendo DS, right here. <laughs> Open it up. Super Mario. And Dude. it's not in there, bro. So right, we'll hold it off to the side. There might be, you know, you never know. It might be in here. Oh wait, grab uh, grab that little stack of media right here. The little, yeah, the skinny stuff. You see the manual? Yeah. All right, so making money on the internet. Okay, that's a good sign. Pennies of the dollar. Charlie, I'm telling you, there might be something in here. This is stuff you want to see. This is a good indication of amazing profits tax sale. Look at this. Mm -hmm. And there's the manual for that, which is what I wanted. So, I'm just saying that right there is a, a great sign of what potentially could be in here. And again, this is like a one that we've looked at at the last second again. So, okay. All right, let's put everything back in there and we'll go on to the next uh, tote. All right, guys. So, we're going through this little tote here. And uh, only it said was office stuff, but look at this. Sony Walkman, model number D-E350. So that's kind of cool. And then you found this uh, Minolta camera and it's actually inside the case. Let's see if we can open it up. How do you open this up? I don't know, but there's a Minolta camera in there and it says Vectus GX-4. That's the battery mm -hmm. compartment. So yeah, but either way, I mean, that's kind of cool. So we'll, we'll take those two off to the side, but then right down here, found one of these little zip things these uh these zip things i believe do pretty well zip 100 i omega pretty sure they do really pretty well um this is the little cable for it but look down in here though a little bit of everything that's a little bit of weed you know uh <laughs> and then look at this little blackberry little disc thing <laughs> so and then down here there's some excel stuff like from 97 so a lot of the stuff is actually sellable um again i don't know you know if this is actually worth anything but you know you just don't know until you start looking it up. More keys. More keys or some dice. There's Las Vegas, Nevada. Twin Oaks, Sports and Fitness. So. Give, them, give me the keys. I there keep the keys. Yeah, keep the keys. Hey, look, another little miniature. Glasses. Miniature glasses. But, um, but yeah, there's like a bunch of CD media down here. I'm not seeing anything other than that, but a lot of different stuff. What does this say? D Tech powder? What is that? I don't know. I don't want to open that one up. Yeah, no, we're not opening that one up, <laughs> that's for sure. Printer base, oh, that's the Epson stylus. Okay. Oh, maybe that's the, what is this? J Bean Association. Association. So yeah, again, not too sure there's gonna be anything crazy in here, but like I said, it looks like a lot of pictures and stuff. Um, there's the weed, oh, look at that. That right, see this stuff right here can do really well. These things right here can do very, very well. Look at this. Epson ink, virtual printer stuff. This would be something that we have to go through at the house a little bit better, but I think all these are pictures. Um, so yeah, that's everything for this one. We'll go on to the, uh, to the next box. Yeah, one thing you can tell about these boxes too, they've been they've been here for a little while. Uh, wait, what about now? This one says Stephen King and Rice. Okay, paper box. So yeah, we did see the Stephen Kings in here. So that's always a good thing. Um, Charlie collects Stephen King books, so she'll keep whatever she doesn't have. And there you go, Dolores Claiborne. I don't think of that. There's another one. What does that one say? Wash hands. What does it say? Wastelands. Wastelands. <laughs> Wash hands. So yeah, ton, ton, yeah, tons of Stephen King. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Oh, right there. Yeah, everything Stephen King for the most part. There you go. I don't think you have that one. Drawing of the three. That one's actually look at, look at the artwork on that uh -huh. one. Yeah, Christine. If you find Salem's Lot, Salem's Lot Cujo. does really well. I know I don't have Cujo. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's basically all Stephen King books right there. So I mean, that's a little bit of value. And keep in mind, like I said, we only spent four hundred and ten dollars in this uh, from this Stephen unit. King. Yeah, we do. Absolutely. 
Uh, we definitely do, but yeah, look at all the boxes though. Uh, I think this is actually furniture right here. Let's say a dresser of some sort. But yeah, there's some a lot of potential in here, you guys. The fact that we found Nintendo DS and those software manual thingies or the software stuff uh, for how to make money and make profit. So that's definitely, uh, you know, a um, potential something good. All right, so uh, we're going to grab this next tome and let the wifey open it up since she only got a books on that one. Uh, nice little dolly, though. Made in USA. We don't need any more dollies. We can definitely sell that. Look how strong the wifey is. Look how strong the wifey is. Oh, okay. What's in here? Nothing. A uh, PC car? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what, what is the... Bless Sorry. you. Bless you. What is that? Oh, is there a Motorola phone in there? I don't feel like it. Okay, trash. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Stinks. Yeah. I mean, this looks like it's been in there for a while. Let's open, open it up, see what the Mastermind's plan is. Uh, okay, it just looks like a bunch of paperwork. We'll go through this later. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Hopefully it's not all paperwork. <laughs> you know, let's find a little something, something. Random disc. Uh, I'm not going to show the name on here. Okay, so that's, that's personal. All right, so there's nothing in this. <laughs> okay, put, put that back on there. Looks like there's a drill right here. Okay, it's a little, little Black & Decker. Um, I don't know if it doesn't work, but we like tools. I don't know if there's anything specifically money-wise than that. Oh, water for is that, is it feel heavy? Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Oh. Look at that. Okay, nothing crazy special, but look at that water for There's two of them. There's two of them? Yeah. The second one's in there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Wow, okay. Yeah. That's uh that's a good sign. I mean, I'm not I don't I'm not saying we made our money back yet, but yeah, that's gonna go home with us for sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. So the rest of it looks like it's gonna be all paperwork. But again, this is why you always look at the bottom uh, bottom of stuff because Waterford, I mean, this one says condiments. 092270024 again I don't know if a soul comp or anything like that popped up on the screen for you guys but on to the next tote all right look at this you guys got like a nice little huge surge yeah, protector surge protector look how big that thing is 12 outlets <laughs> yeah 12 outlets yeah matter of fact that might be good for the garage with tags yeah that might be good for the garage though all right so this next tote is actually um christmas stuff we're not going to go through that just because it just it honestly just does look like christmas stuff and I don't want to bore you guys with that, so we're just going to go on to the next tote. Look at the dust on this stuff, you guys. Oh. It's all over me. All right, guys, check it out. Uh, we just found this. It was right up front. So this is a Rockwell uh, sawhorse. And uh, basically, there's just all it is is a stand. You just stand it up, and you can work on it and stuff. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm sure there's other things you can do, too, um, with it. Okay, well, I don't know how to work it, but... <laughs> We just looked this thing up. It's going for a minimum of 100 bucks uh, plus shipping all day long, and I think that's on a low end. So I mean, that right there is in a pretty, very, very good condition for the most part. Yeah, absolutely good condition. We, obviously, we need to figure out how it works and clean it up. But I mean, that's the easy $100 bill right there. And uh, whenever we were talking to the manager, um, the manager said that there's going to be a lot of tools. Um, we pulled out this grill and this messed up wheelchair, so there's not, a lot, not nothing in there. There's actually a metal detector here. Very cheap though. You're full. Yeah. <laughs> so then there's a big old ladder. So this right here will sell. I'm not really too sure what the ladder will go for, but I, mean, I would say I'm I think the last time we sold the ladder on Facebook, we sold it for like 50 bucks. Yeah, maybe 50 bucks on that. I'm not too sure, but they said there's gonna be a lot of uh, a lot of tools here. But yeah, you guys, look at all this stuff. We got military bags. So, me and the wife thought these were rifle cases, <laughs> but they're, they're not. They're not. <laughs> they're not. But look at how high these boxes go up. I have high hopes that we're going to find something good. And what is this? Oh, and uh, we're finding guitar stuff, you guys. Um, we found the... Look at me. So, we found the guitar, um, like, uh, outlet things or whatever. Um, the little plug-in things that go to the amp. And uh, I think that's what... I don't know what that is, but if I get up in here... <laughs> I'm seeing a uh, motorized helicopter. Okay, let me see that. So I'll take you guys with me real quick. So yeah, so if you guys can see, you guys are gonna be able to see this. I can't. But look at this. There's some movies in there. Lately, I've been having fun with some movie stuff. But yeah, there's tons of stuff in here, you guys. For $410, this is a absolute steal. Absolute steal. There's the helicopter thing I'm telling you guys about. So yeah, all right. Well, let's keep it going. 
All right, so the wife, you found this big old toolbox looking thing. It's kind of a cheap one, but she said it has some weight to it. Look at that. You got the sockets. Or, uh, oh yeah, these are the ratcheting wrenches. Not a high-end brand. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, I believe that is Harbor Freight, I believe. Wait, what is this? Brand new in the packaging nope. stuff, but nothing about the other one. Uh -uh. Nothing in that one either? Okay. Okay, here you go. Little measuring tape. Okay. Got some screwdrivers and stuff. Uh, what is that? Oh, is that guitar? Nail punch. Oh, nail punch. Never mind. I thought that was a guitar. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, what about this side? Stanley sockets and crescent wrenches. Okay. So we got some tools there. Be nice to find some guns in here. <laughs> All right, so not a whole lot, but you know we got definitely some tools though. Um, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm again, I'm not, I'm not too sure if uh we made our money back yet. Maybe, maybe close, oh. but oh wait, oh, Shoo. oh okay, cool. A little Stanley 15-206 little wood knife. That's pretty cool. We got a little, little stuff, and this is a Johnson level. Johnson's a decent brand, so okay. So we'll throw all this stuff back in here, and again, well, whenever we get to the house, we'll organize and and all that good stuff. So yeah, not a bad little, not, not a bad little toolbox. All right. So the wifey just pulled the the uh, dolly out. Um, I don't know the brand on the top of my head, but she <laughs> she pointed at this and said she was like, I want to know what's in that. And this is a Fat Max Stanley toolbox, and it is big. Yeah, look at all this stuff, you guys. I mean, tons and tons of stuff. All right, let's open her up. Let me get on this side real quick. All right, open this. So wait, this is the Stanley Fat Max Toolbox. Does need to be cleaned up. Not really like a lot of wear, just definitely dirty. He's been here for a while, look at that dust. All right, open her up. Oh wait, here, push it down. There you go. All right, now we can look. Hey, look, he peed in the Gatorade. Ew. I don't think it's pee, I was just kidding. Oh, look at this. Brand new cobalt stuff. Hey, wait, cobalt, show, yeah, what show. are those? These are saw, saw hole sets. Band clamps. Brand new. Band clamps. Oh, look at all this stuff. Irwin. We got a, probably a drill bit set. Oh no, what is that? What are those? Oh, uh, these are the things you put over. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but there's a nice little set there. It looks like it hadn't even been used. Mm -hmm. Little stripping tool. Nicotine gum. Yum yum. Wait, gorilla lock key. <laughs> nice little shovel. What's this ratchet right here? This thing right here. I don't, uh, it's like a lug wrench. Yeah, I think so. A little lug wrench. No brand on that. So, I mean, like again, so just a lot of tools. Another lock there, another Stanley thing. Torque wrench, set, uh, torque socket set. Okay, all right, let's go to the top one. Let's go to the bottom. All right, the wifey got it opened, and now we're going to go through it. Well. Okay, a little general thing in there. Mm. A little knife, nothing special. Husky, little Allen wrench set. There we go. There you go. Pretty cool stuff. My Allen wrench set, Ryobi drill bits. Nothing too crazy, but what about down here? Got a staple gun? Right here? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So that's a staple gun. Here's staples? There's yeah. nails. Uh, nail gun. Yeah. Brad nail gun. And nothing too crazy on the big old master lock though. And then there's a uh, big old ratchet. Big old ratchet. That says great neck. So I've never heard of that brand before, and then there's that thing. So, all right, so y'all didn't miss anything too much in this. <laughs> a little disappointed, but I mean, yeah, it is what it is. All right, guys, check it out. So, if you guys remember this black thing that I was standing on to show you guys up here, little did we know that it's actually a safe. Hey, look at this. Well, sentry safe, fire resistant, big old safe, and there is something in it. Like, listen, I don't know if you guys can hear that too well. There you go. That, it might be coins because we actually found. A quarter right here so 
So you're trying to figure that out. We might have to save the save for a different video to show you guys separately, maybe in like a TikTok short or something. Um, but that is pretty cool. And so yeah, so it's a lot of stuff, you guys. We haven't even made a dent. It's like this is literally all we got. And we pulled out the uh, the army bag right here, um, and we found a couple of vintage shirts, some some vintage heat. I guess it's from 2001. Kyle Ripken pure Iron Man shirt. Uh, we found that, and then uh, this Navy versus army 1998 t-shirt but like look at the back of this thing make no mistake this is war navy versus army 1998 vintage t-shirt so uh so yeah i don't know all right i'm gonna try to pick it up once or twice and just drop in it just to see if we can open it maybe we'll find a crowbar in here maybe maybe all right last time what if you break what's in there that's true too but all right one more time when I say this thing is heavy, you guys. I mean, kind of did something, huh? Yeah. Keep going or no? No. All right, so we'll save this for a different video, you guys. All we gotta do is basically get a crowbar in here, hammer it down. I'm gonna do one more. One more. Door's coming. Holy cow, you did some damage. That door is coming. I don't know how many times I can lift this up. <laughs> Ooh, hang on almost there you can turn it off for a minute all right guys so that's going to be the end of this particular video i'll be back in the next day or two for the second part of the video uh yeah as you guys could tell that safe was very very heavy uh and later um in this actual video or this day um for the next video i actually pick it up over my head a lot more and stuff like that so it was a killer to get into this uh safe so just kind of stay tuned for that um overall this unit is uh is, is, is decent you know it's definitely a decent unit and you guys will see that in the future video so at this point in time that's gonna be it be back like i said in the next day or two and um we'll have some more videos for you guys so much love we'll catch you guys next video your bullet your picker peace I don't wanna wake up.